Once the ovaries and uterus are removed, the female dog is closed using a routine three-layer technique. To begin, close the linea alba with interrupted cruciate suture patterns. Full thickness bites of muscle wall should be avoided since it is the outer rectus tissue that provides holding strength. A surgeon's throw may be used for the first tie to allow for apposition without crushing the tissue. Three more throws are then tied to complete the cruciate pattern. Suture tags should be cut short to avoid potential irritation to the subcutaneous tissue above. The subcutaneous tissue and skin are closed using one continuous piece of suture material. Begin by taking a bite of deep subcutaneous tissue at the cranial end of the incision. Once this bite is taken, grasp the free end of suture with a pair of hemostats and place them on the sterile field. Continue to close the subcutaneous tissue using a simple continuous pattern. Once the caudal end of the incision has been reached, a subcuticular pattern is then performed in the opposite direction. We recommend avoiding the use of forceps to hold the skin during the subcuticular pattern, since fingers can better be used to provide adequate tension on the skin without adding undue trauma. The subcuticular pattern is then continued cranially. To determine where to place the needle into the dermis during further bites, simply lay the suture across the incision. Where the suture lies is where to place the next bite. The next to last bite of dermis should not extend all the way to the end, so as to allow room to bury the end knot. The very last bite of dermis should exit in the subcutaneous tissue rather than the dermis itself and then be tied off to the free end of suture being held by hemostats. Four to five throws are adequate to complete your closure, being careful to make sure each knot lies on top of the one before it without including fat into the knot. Keep suture ends parallel to the incision while tying. If the knot is deep enough, both suture ends may be gently pulled upward and cut at the knot. Alternatively, the free tag can be cut close to the knot and the other end gently pulled upward so the needle can be passed under the knot and out through the skin to facilitate proper burial.